What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be showing you how to program the quadratic formula into a TI-84 plus silver edition graphing calculator. So as you probably already know, this right here is the quadratic formula, and here we have the general equation in which the quadratic formula is used to find the value of x. It is very annoying to type the quadratic formula into your calculator every time you need to use it or write out everything on paper. You also run the risk of making an error if you do that. Having this program makes it easy for you since you just need to plug in A, B, and C. A, the A, B, and C here correspond to the same A, B, and C here. And then the calculator does the annoying work for you. Being in college, I have used the quadratic formula quite a bit and it has saved me lots of time on exams and doing homework using the program I'm about to show you. So first you want to hit the program button and scroll over to new and click enter. Now it wants you to give it a name. I personally named mine Quad, Q-U-A-D, but for this video I'll just name it Y-T-Q for YouTube Quad. So Y-T, uh, where's Q? Q. And then hit enter. Now click on the program button again and scroll over to input output or I-O and choose prompt. Option 2. Then use the alpha key to type A comma B comma C. So A comma B comma C. And hit enter. This tells the calculator that you will be manually giving it these three values. So the A, B, and C here. Now to type the actual equation, it is very important to ensure you do exactly what I say because any wrong parenthesis use or something like that can mess up the program completely and it could potentially give you wrong values if you were to use it for homework or an exam or something. So you want to type parenthesis negative b plus square root b squared minus 4ac parenthesis parenthesis divided by parenthesis 2a close parenthesis then you want to hit the store button x and then hit enter. And now you want to do the same thing but make it the negative piece of the quadratic formula. So you're going to go parenthesis negative b minus the square root b squared minus 4ac double parenthesis divided by 2a parenthesis and store that one as y make sure you use the correct negatives. If you're doing a negative value, then it's this negative, and if you're doing a, a subtraction, you use this negative. Just to be safe, I would just do exactly what I showed you there. Then you're going to hit enter. So here we had to type the equation twice, changing only the plus or minus to account for the plus or minus right here in the quadratic formula. When you execute the program, it will give you two roots in the order x, y, so the root with the plus will come before the root with the minus. So here we have plus, minus, x, y. Now you want to hit program again, scroll over to I.O. and choose option 3 which is disp, then type x, comma, y and hit enter. This tells the calculator to display the x and y values it comes up with. So now you have officially made your quadratic formula program and now I want to show you how to use it and prove that it works. So you're going to hit second quit to get out of that completely. So to use it, you want to hit program and then choose your program in the execution menu. So we're going to click uh, YTQ and then hit enter. And now it's going to ask for an A value. So let's just use two binomials. We'll say X plus 3 and X minus 2. And if you multiply those together, we will get X squared plus x minus 6 equals 0. Let's just say this equals 0. So if we multiply those two binomials together and set it equal to 0, we know that our roots are going to be 
x equals negative 3 and x equals 2. Our a value, so what's in front of our x squared, is 1. So we'll say 1, enter. Now it's going to ask us for b, which again is 1. And now c is minus 6. So we plug in minus 6. And we hit enter. And now you see that this dispatched 2 and negative 3, which are the two values that we know are correct. Now, the first value here corresponds to the plus part of the quadratic formula, and the second value to the minus as discussed earlier. So that is how you program the quadratic formula into a TI-84 plus over addition graphing calculator and proof that it actually works. So if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.